A community of drivers enveloped and formed around me. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I am an introvert. I don't just go out and talk to people. Okay, so I'm friendly, but I'm not the type of person to just be like, hey, you know, how you doing? You know, just striking up conversations to, with strangers and things like that. So I've gotten better at that, uh, building those social skills and whatnot. You know, this is an extroverted world, so I try to be outgoing whenever possible. I know I've mentioned in a video before that when I started this new um, driving opportunity, that I was going to be more outgoing, talking with people, remembering people's names, saying hello, so-and-so, and actually using their names. But that required me to be extremely conscientious of the social world around me. As an introvert, I am typically in my own mind. I'm thinking about different things, my day, etc. So doing all this extra stuff is really extra for me. So a couple of years ago, maybe not even a couple of years ago, maybe like last year, I was doing my Walmart Spark. And if you've done Walmart Spark or any of these other driving gigs, you tend to see people the same people over and over again right so there was this one driver who i've seen her before there's like three ladies three other ladies that were drivers are up at that same time and they were typically like group, grouped up or whatever so i would see them inside walmart and they would be chit-chatting or whatever in the um in the subway in walmart um so they kind of had their own community going on and i would see them and i would say hi and, and things like that because you know that's just common courtesy in my opinion you see somebody repeatedly you're doing the same job so speak to them so i would say hi to people so this particular day i'm just loading my car with the shopping orders and this lady came up and said hi and you know asked me how i was doing about my routes or whatever and that was it. So we would see each other and I would say hi. I try to remember her name and say hi. And um, so that was kind of like the first person who reached out to me just to, you know, being friendly or whatever when it comes to this gig economy. So fast forward, I was working as an Amazon. So she was the one actually who told me about Amazon Flex. So she wasn't gatekeeping this gig economy at all. She was sharing things with me. So she told me about Amazon Flex. So I started doing Amazon Flex. Now, I didn't see her on any of the shifts. So like a few months in, I actually saw her there. We were there for the same shift and she saw that I had this long route and she was basically like an auntie mode. She said, you know, don't do that. Don't take that low for that amount. And so she kind of got me thinking because at that time I was in a kind of a like uh desperation mode if you will kind of like that poverty thinking and I had to take the low as they give me and I didn't know how things work and I might miss out you know that whole you know mindset stuff that uh that I had been dealing with so she was like don't take those lows so initially it was like you yeah, I just gotta take what I can get but then I did start heeding her words and was getting on and taking uh some better paying loads so this let's see was it october so october i started uh working at this company it's called better trucks and i had been in it so it september so i had been in it a couple weeks and then she i saw her there again so i see her i saw her there and she's like hey you know how you doing so we started talking and uh so she had basically that was like her second or third so I I didn't see her before but she had done better trucks a couple of times before uh, I saw her there and so we started talking and there was another lady who had already you know started talking with and uh, talking about you know um, that particular route and just gigging in general and how I was trying to branch out to do medical courier so I was telling them about that so the community started to you know build around me now I, these are people that i sit up and talk with on the phone every night but we are friendly in terms of uh sharing information when it comes to getting out here and gigging so when i see them you know we kind of talk make small talk and things like that and uh if they find out anything or we're talking about 
uh, like different tips and tricks on how to get out here and make these deliveries. Like I've learned so many different things from the other gig colleagues than just trying to do it on my own. So instead of everything being trial and error, I am learning from them. So they've experienced different things and they're teaching me. So they're giving me tips and tricks and then I'm adapting the way I do things to improve the process for myself. So, you know, it's kind of like this give and take and, you know, we're working together. So I, I was just blown away by like how this little community for my, you know, on my, my side, you know, they probably are in a bigger community and they talk with each other on a regular basis, but just for myself, this little community is starting to, uh, to form and the sky's the limit. If you are more extroverted and things like that, and you see the same people over and over and you trust that, Hey, they're not out to steal <laughs> gigs from under you. Sure. I mean, like exchange numbers or just continue to talk with, as you see each other. Um, but yeah, a community, I feel like even online, like this is helpful, but having somebody physically there in person and talking about exactly what you're going through because you're doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. Uh, I think that is definitely been a huge unexpected, uh, benefit. I was not looking for it. Not that I was necessarily not wanting or avoiding it, but I just, it just kind of happened. And I am really uh, pleasantly surprised. So for those of you who are here on this channel and subscribe to this channel, I appreciate you so much because it is just building this community and helping each other and piggybacking off of each other's experiences and uh, just making things a little bit easier. It's starting to become, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, it's, it's snowing today. You know, today's the first snow of the season, which... I'm not discouraged or upset about because I, I actually enjoy the winter and I got new tires. So <laughs> I'm not worried about skidding and sliding around. Um, so, uh, I forgot my train of thought, but basically what I'm trying to say is having a community and helping each other out and being here together with each, each other online and learning from each other. I think it's just been a wonderful experience and uh again i thank you and i appreciate all my viewers i thank you for being here i don't take you for granted and if there are any uh video ideas or questions or something that you want me to to address definitely put that in the comments if i don't know i'll try to let you know show you somebody who might know so i'm always like i might not know but hey i can find out and um, possibly pass on some information to you so that was just something I was just thinking about randomly today and uh, as I'm waiting for an appropriate route <laughs> and appropriate delivery. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you have your own community of drivers that you link up with that you guys, you know, talk or meet with, uh, or chat or message or however, however you're doing it? do you have it and if you don't just try to be more friendly and you know make yourself a little bit vulnerable and uh try to build your little community of gig drivers in person in real life uh community all right so i think i've ranted enough and i will see you guys in the next one